content makes you the knowledge source for your customers. It puts you in a position where you're kind of like the, the like the wizard of the space, and people go to you to ask for how do I do this, how do I do that, and sure, like you you know sell your services, but you're like ancillary helping all these other aspects for their companies. My name is Bruce Ackerman. I started a company called Printavo. Uh, we help shops just like you guys manage your workflow. But what I'm really excited about is education. We spend a lot of time helping shops like you guys be able to grow. So this is actually me. I was started back actually in the screen printing side um, back in college. So I went to a school called the University of Illinois, which is in Urbana-Champaign. But today, what I wanted to cover and be able to share with you guys are some really good, easy tips to be able to take away to increase your marketing and sales for your business. So the first one is hosting the party. This is a mentality shift of how you want to position yourself in your market. Now, what's really cool is you guys have, even if they're small spaces, even if it's your still working on your home, you have some really cool equipment and things that you may not find very interesting, but your customers absolutely do. You know, people just order embroidery, they order screen printing and it just shows up at their door and they don't ever think about how that happened. Um, they may have seen it once or twice, but you can use that kind of stuff to be able to showcase, hey, here's how it works. We've seen a lot of shops, this is actually a picture of a shop that's in Rockford, Illinois. They do print on a shirt every month, so people will bring in some sort of garment and you can have it printed or worked on right there. And then you can do this quarterly or monthly, but remember consistently to bring people in, they line up, eventually you'll start to get some really great steam and it helps build your momentum. Because when you create that in-person bond and relationship, you're able to have that strong network with them to be able to charge more and not like look at a customer's price sheet, subtract five cents and then that's your pricing. Okay, the next thing is, these are the basics. Don't forget about these aspects because these are the foundational pieces. The first thing, deck everybody that works for you or helps you at the shop with all your gear possible. I'm always wearing this shirt. Like literally this shirt or a different color, I always have it on. Airport, especially if I'm going to a trade show, there's people around, they want to ask about it. Oh, what's that? Oh, I've seen it, right? Again, it's that repetition. So they say, may have seen it, this is the fifth time they've seen it, and now they poke out and they ask about it. Yeah, we call them boomerang customers, the ones that swing back around and swing back around, and then finally they're like, oh yeah, I'd love to actually be able to do it. So swag everybody out, anybody that helps you, friends, anything like that, give them something nice to be able to wear, a nice t-shirt, nice polo, something with your, your, your logo on it. Always carry your business card on you. Um, I got some always in my back pocket, so I always have them. Any event I go to, anything relative to that. And then the other thing that I do to take it to the next step, I ask for their info. The other thing, which seems like a no-brainer, but answer every single phone call that comes into your shop. The amount of sales you'll get just by answering the phone is pretty surprising. So you want to, again, look bigger. So you really strive to have zero missed calls. They know it's difficult, especially as time goes on. You get more phone calls. You try to focus. But again, that momentum continues to build, and it's really, really helpful. Okay, so the next really big thing here is standardize your customer intake. Anybody that does a job with you guys, you have to write down all the information about them. Email, phone, name, organization at a minimum. But the more info you have here means the more you can remarket back to them later. The majority of your business as time grows is going to be from repeat customers that do work with you over and over again. So if you're always making sure to take all this info, then you can be able to send it into a tool like MailChimp to be able to sell, um, to be able to email market everybody out. And you can send them bi-weekly emails or monthly emails. Uh, as you get smarter, you'll be able to even segment them. So schools are these emails, um, big companies are these emails, and you can send them more personalized messages especially. The more personal, the better, because people actually open them versus everybody here gets so much like newsletter email. 
that it, it can go either to spam or just not read. All right, next up. So online stores. These have been a huge new opportunity for your for shops to be able to grow sales, like massive. Um, as more and more people are able to get into embroidery and screen printing and different types of decoration, the barriers to entry are a lot lower. So that's kind of like more of a, a red ocean. The next blue ocean, the next area of opportunity is really, really online stores and also live decoration. So live printing on site for companies and sponsorships and things like that. All right. I talked to you guys about earlier about how most of your sales over time are going to be from existing customers, but make sure to um, market back to them really heavily. So that's reaching out, checking in, writing a thank you card, giving them a call, asking them if you're in the area. Like I'll go to shops all the time when I'm at trade shows or when I'm in different cities, I'll stop by a customer and say hi and ask them how things are going. So marketing existing customers is, is so crucial to, to really growing the, the business. Uh, okay, so this is a little bit more of an advanced tip, but um, easy to set up, takes a little bit of time, but there's a company called AdRoll. It's A-D-R-O-L-L.com. Have you guys ever been to, um, I'm not sure, maybe Rukoma does this, but like when you go to the Rukoma site, maybe, and then you see their logo everywhere on, on like Google or Facebook or this or that, uh, Amazon does it. Um, this is the practice of retargeting. So again, remember, your logo has to be seen five, seven times over and over and over again. So this helps you automatically do that. It, it's it's one of the marketing campaigns that we do that I just don't even look at the analytics much anymore because again I feel it's so important for people as they're so busy in everybody's lives to see your company again and again. So um, ad roll and that helps drive the retargeting aspects to your business. Okay, so seven um, content. Uh, content's kind of hard to do if you're one, two, three person company still because you have so many things going on. But after that, it becomes critical to growing your business long term. And the reason is, is because content makes you the knowledge source for your customers. It puts you in a position where you're kind of like the, the, like the wizard of the space and people go to you to ask for how do I do this? How do I do that? And sure, like you, you know, sell your services, but you're like ancillary helping all these other aspects for their company um, or for a school or organization. But whatever your customers care about and what they feel is important is the content that you'll want to create for it. These are really simply like even Instagram posts, posts or stories. Um, or quick videos like holding up your camera and talking to about tips that can help their business. So if you work with a lot of restaurants, for example, um, how to use apparel to drive more sales to your restaurant. It doesn't even have to be apparel, actually. So um, how to get more positive reviews on Yelp, right? Whatever, again, your customers care about and that helps grow their business is what you're going to want to be able to record content on. It takes 30 minutes every morning. But again, consistency and doing it over and over and over again. I mean, it's the same thing if you guys follow Roma, like Henry's been posting a ton on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube of tips and ways to grow and improve your business and learn about your machines and everything. And then what's great about content is remember when we went back to the email marketing and emailing your existing customers again? There you go. You put that right into that one, and now you've got content for your next um, email campaign to go back out. All right, so number eight. If you're not on social media, you almost look non-existent to your customers. It's simple as that. So, um, and that's the same thing as that if you don't post often. So if you're not post, if you like last post, if you look at your Twitter, or Instagram, or something, is like four months ago. It also looks to your customers like you haven't been in business for four months. Like it's just, it's just kind of what it is. So you gotta get on there. There's a tool called Buffer. That second point. That application is either free or 10 bucks a month, but it allows you to post on all of your platforms at once with one post. So it takes a lot of time out of going to each individual site. 
and you can schedule pose. So if you want to schedule up, I mean, literally, like when I'm in the bathroom is when I'm doing all the queuing up. So <laughs> you're just sitting there, you know, you're thinking about whatever the day. Exactly. You got some time. I queue up the pose, and then now I've now I've got stuff for the week or whatever, right? So super easy to be able to do. Um, you could download. They have an iPhone app, and again. Don't think about creating as much, you're just documenting your process to share. A really cool job, a tip that you learn um, for businesses to be able to help them, something new that you bought to help, a really cool uh, like finishing job, maybe they ask for hang tags put on, and you could say, you know, hang tags are a great way to be able to get your brand out and in a retail setting. Easy, right? So posting that and posting and being more active, there's also a lot of people that are younger that can help you for free to no cost, interns. <laughs> so um, get, you know, you can get the family, your kids are on probably social media all day anyway. Like ask them, be like, hey, I'll give you, I don't know, X amount of dollars to actually do this for me. And then let them, let them hack away at it for the summer or when they have time. Okay, positive reviews is also really, really big. So you guys ever go to, Yelp and just look for restaurants in the area and you see somebody with like two or three stars, you don't even look past it and then you go to the next one and you scroll up. It's the exact same thing that happens when they're looking for a decoration, right? People are just looking at quickly, like judging you in a half second and scrolling through. So you have to generate more positive reviews. When a job is finished, you need to email them and get to say, hey, I hope you enjoy your work. Make sure to review us, here's a link. If not, email us back and we'd love to be able to help. So it's an opportunity there to A, build a better relationship if they didn't have a nice uh, time working with you and fix it, or B, get another four or five star review on Yelp. What we do is we'll automate this. Um, Printable allows you to be able to do some of that stuff to automate it, but we'll switch out the links every month. So we'll do Yelp and we'll send all those out. Then we'll change the template and we'll do Google and send those out um, for a month. And you know, there's like other ones called G2 and some other websites that you can get reviews on. But just search your company name, reviews in Google, and you'll see all the websites that you gotta get positive reviews on. The other thing that makes this really important is that if um, somebody does write a negative review, it has way less effect and you don't care as much because it's like five to four and a half stars because you already have the weight pretty high, right? So you gotta build that up, get 20 positive reviews, friends, family, ask everybody just to throw in a review. All right, last one. We go over the top. You guys are small businesses now, we're a small business, and it's exciting because you could do things that don't work at scale for larger companies. You have a strong, strong advantage to be able to do things that again, a large company will not do, right? You can write thank you notes, um, at Christmas a couple of years ago, for all of our customers, about like a thousand thank you cards. I only made it to like 400 because it, it was just, it was a lot of work. But the goal is to write every you know all of our biggest customers and going down from there a thank you card and post market with a personal note or something I remember about them and send it off. Comcast isn't gonna send you a thank you card. Like Apple's not gonna send you a thank you card. Windows not gonna, you know what I'm saying? So you guys have the potential to do that and that's really, really exciting that, that you're able to do that still. Because um, again, some of these things just don't work when companies get bigger or they just don't value it anymore. So handwrite thank you cards, anything special that's happening, a customer's having a baby, they are going to a graduation that they mentioned, anything that's like cool or something just that sounds neat and like take yourself out of like business corporate face and just like person to person face just just send it. It, it it's worth the 15 bucks and it, it makes them feel special and again it creates a special rapport holiday gifts we do special things um i, I don't like receiving like the like uh, like wine things are all kind of gift wraps and very standard like just something personal that I know they care about or matters to them we'll send those out water bottles is an easy way to to make someone feel special if they come in hey you like a water bottle right and just I uh, give it to them again it makes them feel a little bit better and then um, emails so again when you grab the business card 
shoot them back an email after, even if they said they're gonna reach out, just like, hey, it was so awesome meeting you. I'd love to learn more about um, your business sometime. It, like, no sales info at all, but again, that rapport builds and they will come to you guys for sales that way. So hopefully these were helpful. I try to make them as like literal and direct as possible. These are things that we still do. We're still a small team of 13, but we try to be as efficient as possible, but also still create the personal experience for people, which is uh, something we carried from the printing now into the software world. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you.